everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play where today my friends the fishing quest is in the ocean as you can see we had to capture ourselves a clownfish which shouldn't be that difficult to be honest with you guys so uh, all we gotta do as a bit of a temporary measure we'll put up a rope up here we're still gonna do the balcony idea uh, but uh, yeah we still need to do some other stuffs uh, but yeah first of all we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a few mana crystals because we can and then we're gonna use the remaining star to make ourselves an enchanted night crawler to get 35% bait power guys very very nice so guys thank you so very much again for the support you showed in the last episode reaching pretty much a thousand likes which is absolutely fantastic really do appreciate it like honestly the support means more than you know guys it really really does so let's keep ourselves going we're getting trout we are looking for a clownfish hopefully it won't be that difficult to get i don't actually know what the actual uh you know the the fishing percentage chance is to get the quest item uh but you know it's just one of those things isn't it we'll just have to keep going we'll see if we can get it we'll see if we can get ourselves some cool things from the angler and uh yeah i'm hoping we can get some crate potions or sonar potions or something like that so we can start capturing some good stuff you know the good stuff yeah you gotta love the good stuff my friend so yeah, here we go. Oh, we're waiting. We're waiting. Come on, man. You know what would also be cool is if we could get ourselves the sort Oh, well, wow, there you go. If we could get ourselves the Sawtooth Shark and Reaver Shark, which a lot of you guys were saying we should try and get because the Reaver Shark has 100% pickaxe power, meaning it can mine Hellstone, which is pretty awesome. And then, of course, you've got the Sawtooth Shark for a very much increased yield of uh, wood. Well, you don't get more wood. You just get it faster, right? So, yeah. Wow, you even get shrimp from the ocean. I feel like I don't go fishing on the ocean very often, like, at all. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I like fishing in the ocean. You get awesome stuff. Yeah. All right, we'll do one more. And then we'll hand in the quest item and we'll get on with today's episode. Come on, man. It's a long one. It's a long wait. Come on, dude. I know you want to give me something good. Oh, great. Tuna. That's real good. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyways, guys, let's hand this bad boy in and boof! Journeyman bait. What? Oh my word! We got an accessory on the first go! For those of you guys unaware, I'm pretty sure this guy offers a plethora of accessories, but the sextant is actually one of the ones needed for the eventual PDA. Which is absolutely fantastic. That's one of the other reasons I wanted to do so many fishing quests. Like, the more of these things we can get, with the, like, the sooner we can get ourselves a PDA made. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I have never made a PDA. The entire time I've played Terraria, I've never ever got one. So, you know, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. I'm happy with that. Oh, what's the feather doing in there? It needs to go in this one. There we go. And I tell you what, we'll put fishing yield in this one as well. There you go. Looking good. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, this is fantastic. Alrighty, guys. Well, I don't know about you guys, but we have not done a single mining slash caving session yet in this series, which is quite surprising, actually, because normally I would have done one by now, but... It's just one of those things, isn't it? You just you get to it when you get to it. I mean, I know that, you know, mining slash caving is not one of the... It's certainly not one of the most interesting things to watch in the entire world. I'll give you guys that. But it's still something that needs to be done. It's kind of like a necessary evil. So, yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it? So... What we're going to do, guys, what we're going to do, I've bought some dynamite, I've bought some bombs. My idea is we head down to the crimson here, we head to the underground section, and then we mine down to this section over here. Because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be far enough. Oh, ow. I'm pretty sure it will be far enough away from the dungeon to the point where the dungeon guardian won't come in. So, yeah. Oh, another goblin scout. These guys are supposed to be a rare spawn, but we seem to be getting them fairly frequently, which is pretty awesome, actually. I'm not going to complain about it. Not by any stretch. So, yeah. Okay, cool. It's night time, which means, you know, the perfect time to go mining, right? So, I'm pretty happy with that. So, guys, we're going to head to the crimson, and we're going to start bombing it. Hey, we got our first banner of the series, guys. The Blood Crawler. I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting my first ever banner of the series to be a Blood Crawler. <laughs> wow, you know, that's pretty cool if you wanted to farm those guys out for vertebrae or something like that. Anyways, guys, we are now in the Crimson. We are looking good, and all we gotta do is say goodbye to this guy, and then we gotta come over this way. 
there is a section over here where we got rid of a boulder. Yep, there we go. All right, and you know what time it is. It's bombing time! Come on. So, the good news is, I bought myself an absolute ton of torches. I am now completely out of money, though, which is, you know, kind of sucky, but it's just... Again, like I say, one of those things, isn't it? You sort of build yourself back up over time. It doesn't take that long, not really. And, uh, yeah, you just buy yourself some more. So, yeah. Or we could farm out slimes, but, you know, we haven't got a lot of slimes in this one so far. So, yeah. Hello! Oh, that guy just got absolutely destroyed. Right. So then. Oh! Oh, right, that's the pressure plate for the... Yeah, okay. Uh, right, so... Right, we'll put another bit of dynamite down, because why not? Oh, God. Ugh! Well, uh, I might wind up drowning if I'm not careful. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Yep, there we go. It's draining. Yeah! I can breathe again. Air is so underrated. Holy Lord. Right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I still got caught by a freaking trap, though, didn't I? Python, you numb nuts. Right, so here we go. We've got some lead down here, which, of course, is always useful. Oh, hello. Uh, always useful to get lead, isn't it? Because if it's not useful now, then it'll be useful for something later down the line. I mean, one of the things I really want to do in this series, my friends, um, is I want to try and get every single uh, sort of ore weapon and ore armor set and, like, put it on an armor stand. So we've got, like, free hard mode ore uh, gear, all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be a fantastic idea. I really, really do. I don't think I've actually done it before, so... You know, again, it's just, you know, I'd love to do it. I really, really would. Like, a bit of a perfectionist collection playthrough or something like that. Like I say, it's not really, like, any kind of playthrough. It really, really isn't. It's just, it's just a series that I want to do. So, yeah. All right. So, here we go, my friends. We found ourselves our first underground house of the series. Oh, yeah. I'm very, very happy. All right. So, let's see what we get. Uh, shoe spikes, very, very nice. I'll take it. Uh, it'll allow us to uh, go down walls a lot easier, which I guess is kind of cool. Is that gold? Yeah, we've got gold on this world. I love gold. I know that platinum technically gives you more defense, but I still like gold. I think the look of gold is just awesome. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh don't drown, you numb nuts. There we go. Come on. There you go. All right. Uh, anything down here? Uh... Not really. I mean, we'll have to dynamite again. I mean, when in doubt, blow it up. I mean, that's just how we roll, right? Yeah. Come on. Nothing down here. Okay. Oh, wow. This is really disappointing, actually. Okay. Maybe we start going more to the side a little bit. Oh, that's not quite to the side. There's a worm down there. Well, that's great, isn't it? Ah, and there we go. All right. Anything? Anything at all? Wow. There's like nothing around here. This is really surprising. I'm not... Hmm. I'm not too keen on this. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. There's a little cave to the right-hand side. I don't know whether it's going to be anything, you know, extravagant or anything like that. I mean, all we can do is dig over to it and uh, see what happens, right? Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, looking good, guys. Looking good. Right. This place is filling up quickly, which leads me to believe that this is a really, really crummy cave. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we could always bomb this again. There is a little thing underneath. I'm hoping it'll be something a little bit bigger. But no, it appears to be another really crummy pocket cave. Oh, man. Terraria's given us all the rubbish things today, isn't it? Okay, right, well, there appears to be another cave over the right-hand side here and below... So, come on, man. Oh, there's a life crystal. Hey, this has already been worth it. Okay, fantastic, guys. I'm very, very happy about finding this. Oh, man. So, for the most part, as you guys know, I would actually go ahead and cut all of that out. But, you know, it's always worth... I feel like it's worth showing you guys. Like, this is a generic playthrough. Therefore, I feel like I want to keep you guys along for the journey, you know, the entire way. So, you know, I think it's worth showing you guys just how difficult it can be to find cave systems sometimes. Sometimes it really can be a royal pain in the butt. So, yeah. Hmm. Anyways, ooh, that's a lot of tin there, guys. Hey, not bad. Oh, yeah, look at he do. I don't know why we're collecting tin, but we are. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I just heard a crawdad. It would be nice if we could get a rally from one of those guys, right? Ooh, that might actually be worth doing. Uh, the only thing is, we don't... Oh, wow. Well, hmm. I was just about to say, we don't have any blocks, but... Yeah, we do. We've been blowing a whole ton of it up, Python, you dumbo. 
All right, so if we go over here real quick, uh, there we go, and we start, there's a pressure plate there, let's get rid of that, because that is a boulder trap, oh no it isn't, look at that, there's an explosives trap down there guys, Ooh! oh my word, I am not about that life, no sir, no sirree, right, oh, it would also be nice if I could get myself a hook so I could make a grappling hook, Terraria, that would be nice, eh, I mean, there's a bunch of gems down there, but it's nowhere near enough. Yeah, there's gems up there again, but again, we need 15 if we want to make ourselves a gem grappling hook. I mean, you know, statistically speaking, they are better than the regular grappling hook, but they do take a fair amount of resources to make, so... Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, and there's a house down there. All right. Oh, no sign of a rally. Oh, that looks like it could be enough to make ourselves a grappling hook, guys. Oh, baby. Come on, man. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to get 12 out of this. Ah. Uh, well, not quite there, guys. Not quite there. But we've got a very, very decent amount of uh, progress towards getting ourselves a grappling hook. So that's pretty cool. Uh, hey. Another underground house of awesome. Yeah, all right, we'll start placing those things back in so we get a little bit of light. Uh, more lead over there. What's this? More shoe spikes. Oh, my word. We are getting all the shoe spikes today, ladies and gentlemen. The good news is I just picked up some uh, Spelunker potions, so that's pretty cool, right? All right, well, uh, yeah, good day, good day, and get wrecked. All right, okay. Uh, what else have we got? More lead. Again, I could potentially blow it up. In fact, no, there's a whole bunch of amethyst up here. We've now got enough amethyst. I mean, I saw another bit of amethyst over there, which is why I'm saying we've got enough. We have enough amethyst, ladies and gentlemen, to make ourselves a grappling hook. Uh, that's really freaking cool. It's going to make getting around, like, an absolute ton easier. It really, really is, guys. This is actually fantastic. I'm genuinely happy with this. Hey, not bad at all. Not bad at all. There is... There's a... There we, ah, yeah, you thought you could freaking... Scare me, you freaking butt. No, 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 no. There we go. Look at he do. All the lead. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could technically make myself a bit of a mini station down here and then just get it that way. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll do that. We'll do that, guys. We'll do that. So here we go. There's the furnace. Let's chuck it down. And then we are looking for the lead. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of lead. Okay, we can chuck that down there. And ladies and gentlemen, we now have a grappling hook. Yeah! We can get around a lot easier, guys. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. I'm very, very happy with that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so much easier, isn't it, guys? It's so much easier. Is it worth picking up a loom? I mean, I don't know. If we wind up setting up multiple bases, then, you know, uh, it sure would be useful. Oh, go on. Give me a rally. Oh, no rally. Well, gosh, freaking down. Oh, I'll tell you what I did just see, though. Uh, There's a little mousy. I want to capture a mousy. Come on. There you go. <laughs> We're going to put a mouse in a jar, guys. Wait, can you do that? Or is it like you just make a terrarium or something? I can't remember. But anyways, guys, we are doing pretty well so far. We've got ourselves two underground houses. We've got ourselves a ton of resources. And things are looking fan freaking fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, while we are doing this, we're going to jump into the comment question of the video, which for today comes from... Who does it come from? It comes from HCG underscore Rake Show, who says, and this is a question I get so, so often. Do you ever plan on doing another co-op series with Chippy? Um, I mean, the answer to that is yes. The extended answer to that is when we both have a free schedule and we both have a good idea as to what we want to do in terms of, like, you know, making the series unique. I mean, you know, it's all well and good just starting up any old series, but, you know, we want to we want to be able to provide you guys with something that's a little bit more interesting than just a regular Terraria Let's Play. I don't know, like Calamity or something like that. I mean, we have been coming up with plans for certain series, but, you know, they haven't come to fruition yet because, again, you know, we are both full-time YouTubers and therefore, you know, we both have fairly full schedules, right? Alrighty, guys, so apologies about that random cut. I had to uh, accept a phone call, so uh, that's, you know, great. And uh, yeah, guys, we're back. Just to reiterate what I was saying, though, uh, the short answer is yes, there will be more co-op series with Chippy, eventually. Uh, the long answer is not until we both have a free schedule and we can both keep it up uh, you know, fairly frequently, so, yeah. But anyways, guys, let's continue on. We've got ourselves a minecart track here, and as you guys know, minecart tracks tend to lead to some form of treasure. 
Uh, for the most part, I've found that they do anyways. Uh, ooh, hello. Uh, so there's a pressure plate there. There's some sapphires over here. Oh, jeez, man. Hello. Right, so we've got a granite bime around here somewhere. Hey, I kind of like granite bimes. Granite bimes are like one of my favorite ones. Uh, danger science potion. Is there anything here? Water walking is something that I very, very rarely use. So I'm going to go ahead and say no to that one. And we go and pick up some sapphires. Yeah, buddy. All right, so there we go. We've got ourselves a house here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and chuck down the chandelier just for a little bit of light again. And it's always a good way of, uh, you know, telling yourself, oh, hey, I have actually explored this place, so we don't need to do anything with it. Right, so, got a suspicious looking eye, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. I'm very, very happy with that. Right, uh, what do we want to get rid of, though? Uh, let's get rid of the dirt. We'll get rid of uh, that, and then we've got the enchanted boomerang here as well, which I'd very much like to take. Uh, let's get rid of the danger sense potions. I mean, for the most part, I feel like I can see where the dangers are, right? So, yeah. At least I don't feel like it's that, you know, difficult, I guess. So, yeah. Right, so, question. Is there going to be a house in here? More often than not, I feel like there tends to be, right? Uh, right, nothing so far. No sign of a heart. But, you know, that's not to say there won't be one. <clears throat> Thank you for the potion. Much appreciated there, sir. All right. Oh, that looks like... Okay, so we're at lava level now, ladies and gentlemen, which is always a little bit ominous. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I was getting a little bit nervous there that I wouldn't, like, catch myself on the rope because you never know what might be at the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. You never know, you know, there might be a freaking lava ball at the bottom and you wind up just, like, dipping yourself in lava, having a lava bath, which is obviously something that's not recommended for your lifestyle. Um, so, yeah. All right, looking good, guys. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of piranhas down here. You watch, we're going to get a hook now, aren't we? Oh, well, that's not a hook, but I'll take it nonetheless. Provides light underwater. That's always nice, right? I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I wasn't expected to find that today, my friends. I really, really wasn't. More, more often than not, you tend to get that from the ocean when you're going in and doing stuff there. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So, there is indeed another chest here with a cloud in the bottle. Yeah. Oh, you guys know that we're good now. Oh, yeah. Right, let's get rid of the crimstone. We'll go ahead and replace this. And honestly, guys, we've, we've done pretty damn well today. We've got ourselves some really, really cool things from the caves today. There's a whole bunch of statues. We will indeed be doing like a massive sweep at some point just to pick up every single statue. Because I really, really would like to have like all the statues in the game. I think that'd be fan freaking tactic. I really do. So, oh my god, a night vision helmet. Believe it or not, that actually provides more defense than the freaking helmet. That's hilarious. Okay, improves vision. In what sense? What, like on the surface? Well, I mean, obviously not now. It's freaking daytime, you doofus. Oh, man, that's pretty funny, though. <laughs> we got ourselves a night vision helmet, and it does more defense than my wooden helmet does. Uh, but it doesn't give us more defense overall, because obviously the full wooden set gives you three defense as well. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my comment question of the video to you guys is actually, what is your favorite underground biome? In Terraria, you've got the regular biomes, you've got the lava, uh, you've also got the granite biomes, the marble biomes, and I'm, I'm going to count the underworld in it as well because, you know, that is technically underground as well. So, yeah, guys, what is your favorite underground biome in Terraria? I'd be interested in knowing, guys. I really, really would. What have we got here? Caught and honey? Uh, we can't do that one because we haven't gone to the jungle yet, but that might be something we do fairly soon, my friends. So... Yep, we got, we're clouding the bottle, we got a grappling hook, and we got ourselves a bunch of awesome stuff. Oh yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this, I really, really am, guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this particular episode here. I know that mining episodes aren't really, you know, the most enticing things in the world, but they are definitely necessary for the, uh, you know, for the continuation of the progress of the series. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are okay with that. Guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. It would mean the world to me if you did. It really does help out the channel, myself, and the video in many, many ways. Like, especially in terms of myself, like, it helps out my motivation to continue the series on the daily. So, guys, it would mean the world to me if you did. Uh, hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, folks. But that is going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I'll see you guys 
in the next episode.